everybody, first Muhammad Shaw with you. Um, our model today is uh, it's about um, concentrated solar tower uh, for uh, uh, gas turbine cycle. Um, our working fluid um, is going to be uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, go to your destination folder. Okay, and double clicking on your model. Okay, your model should be appear like this. Okay, uh, our cycle is, is completely simple. It's around, it's about um, so a concentrated solar tower, real estate. And we have here uh, air uh, CO2 compressor because we are not going to use uh, air, it's uh, CO2. And we have high, high pressure turbine uh, unit for power generation. And we have uh, air cooler for cooling down the CO2 exhaust stream from uh, the turbine cycle. So our term, our plant is uh, uh, is just four main units. Uh, let's go and discover how can we run our model and uh, what about uh, data extraction. Clicking here, we should be sure that you, your uh, model browser check all of these buttons okay and this is our main cycle we have air compressor uh, i'm sorry gas compressor co2 gas compressor uh, concentrated solar tower field co2 and co2 gas turbine cycle and air cooled uh, condenser okay and we have here, uh, this is a performance block in order to discover some uh, performance analysis or something like this. Again, we have to specify some inputs. First of all, suppose I'm going for single uh, point uh, iteration. Uh, we have here, uh, for concentrated solar tower, we have ambient temperature. As you can see here, ambient temperature, suppose it's uh, 25 degrees Celsius. Solar radiation, I suppose it's around 600 watt per meter square. And we have here top cycle temperature. Suppose I am going to operate my cycle at uh, 400 or 450 degrees Celsius, our operating hours, 16 hours or 8 hours. Okay, that's it apply. For design, you can select between all of um, all types of uh, of mirrors suppose i'm going for fourth gen generation and we have uh, mirror costs okay but this model it is not going to to calculate the costs yes sure uh, uh, thermoeconomic analysis uh, are embedded in this model but uh, i'm just um, seeking the energy uh, performance of the cycle, not the cost cycle. Okay. Uh, so therefore, I uh, I I will not going to discover what is the cost of uh, of the cycle. It's just energy analysis. Okay. For compressor, uh, suppose um, for CO two we are not allowed to go below uh, 27 so i am going for 30 deg degrees Celsius, and ambient temperature the same the same for all uh, 25 a gas constant specific gas constant for co2 and performance what is the performance it's a uh, compressor efficiency thermal efficiency suppose it's uh, 70 Okay, and, and uh, shaft mechanical efficiency is 90 or 85. And pressure ratio, I'm going for pressure ratio 2, hit apply. Okay, that's, that's enough for coopers. For gas turbine cycle, what is the power that we are going to deliver? Suppose I'm going to deliver uh, uh, 1000 or 200, let it be. 250 kilowatts of power okay and the same for ambient temperature uh, this is important for exergetic analysis inside the block okay Th because this model is for energy and exergy analysis 
okay for air cooled condensers it's quite important okay uh, efficiency effectiveness of uh, of the air cooled supports is around little b.5 fan efficiency because there is fans here so i this will be around 80 degrees percent i'm sorry and some input design outer tube it's up to you to specify uh, inner tube and outer tube diameter uh, air tube uh, duct diameter and chill diameter i mean the whole unit diameter diameter of the shell okay uh, air cool temperature uh, let it be at this, the same as uh, uh, ambient temperature overall heat transfer coefficient i, I think it's between uh, 25 up to 100 or 600 no more than this for air suppose it's 50 uh, 50 or 25 i'm sorry 25 uh, what per meter square celsius okay uh, now everything is, is ready for calculation if you click here you can discover you can discover unit by unit uh, what is your results let's hit run and see first of all this is our compressor let's hit run okay we are waiting for uh... okay uh, for 250 uh, kilowatt of power um, the outlet temperature for from the compressor it's from uh, remember we we the initial condition was 30 so from 30 it's it's raised up up to 110 uh, degrees Celsius the compressor consumption power would become uh, 40 kilowatts in Salve outlet because this is co2 uh, not air this is co2 uh, gas cycle this is total mass flow rate around 0.6 kilogram per second okay uh, total exergy destruction uh, for the so we have here thermoeconomic streams but i already uh, I already uh, shut off these streams in order because it's based on based on upon your cycle. Suppose you are going to uh, calculate uh, uh, more and more uh, cost analysis, so you have to uh, 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 go through uh, cost analysis. Let it be for uh, upgrading your unit or something like this. For a solar field, we have. Uh, many parameters to discover absorber area total field area mirrors area uh, tower height field diameter and uh, cavity diameter base diameter and um, thermal power thermal power is 275 kilowatts efficiency um, so it's lower lower result because it's um, because it's a low power uh, delivered by the turbine for a high pressure turbine uh, as you can see here the outlet would become at uh, 35 degrees Celsius and uh, the inlet condition would become 450 because we already assigned these values okay so this is our uh, mass flow rate uh, this is mass flow rate through the a turbine unit uh, adiabatic index exergy destruction rate for air cooled this is our fan bar 0.6 uh, kilowatt uh, uh, more reasonable for this uh, operating conditions thermal energy um, area it's area uh, outlet temperature uh, outlet uh, turbine temperature okay 75 and we have here outlet air temperature it's raised up from uh, 30 degrees celsius up to uh, from i'm sorry from 25 up to 30 degrees celsius length of the condenser um, you can uh, go through heat capacities number of transfer units and exergy structure rate okay you can this is total this is power ratio and net power this is your net power 
and total exergy destruction through uh, uh, your plan. Suppose I'm going for um, for dynamic uh, modeling, set infinity, and uh, let's go and uh, hit run with some changing in our uh, results. So I have to go here. Suppose I'm going to, to change some parameters in the compressor and see the effect of on the cycle. Okay, let's hit run. Okay, okay, so our cycle is under operating. Now I have to change, I have to change uh, LED temperature. Suppose it's 35. Okay, okay, and performance. Let's go for decreasing the performance of uh, compressor and mechanical efficiency. I am can I, I am decreasing, and I I would like to increase uh, the pressure ratio up to four. Okay, or 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 let let it be six. Okay, okay. Let's hit stop and see uh, some results based on uh, compressor uh, uh, changes. You can go here. Okay. Let's say for signal inspector. Yes, let's discover some outputs. This is a total plant efficiency changing according to the changes in, in compressor and the power. This new power decreased because the, the performance of uh, the compressor is decreased to power ratio. Uh, compressor outlet co uh, compression temperature because we increase the temperature of the CO2, the early conditions. This is uh, adiabatic index. Um, uh, compressor out, yes. This is uh, gas flow rates. Uh, and we have here thermal load on, uh, on the solar feet. It's the main constant because we did a change. Okay. Tower height, fan power. Is, yes, there's some some minor changes in fan power. Uh, the thermal energy cooling, thermal energy, and we have here for um, uh, let it be for uh, cooler pressure, and we have. Uh, some you, you have many parameters to to address. Um, suppose I'm going for number of transfer units, minor changes here, and see hot, and see cold. Okay, uh, fan power. Okay, okay. Uh, let this is the total area. Okay, I will keep this. Let's. Uh, closing and let uh, okay. Let us change. I will make some changes in uh, uh, solar field. I will turn again and changing the solar field. You can look in here and watch the on your changes on the performance. I I would like to increase the, the temperature up to eight hundreds. 800 as you can see the changes on the power or uh, okay 800 okay 800 degrees Celsius okay for um, okay let's go for turbine unit I would like to increase the power up to uh, enormous let's go for 10,000 kilowatts 10 megawatts up to uh, 20 mega 20 mega yes let's go for 25 megawatts okay for the cooling let's go and make some changes let's increase the efficiency of the cooler up to a point seven point seven it's quite interesting and air temperature you can let's increasing the air air temperature 27 okay 
but I have to increase here for yes for all cycles I have to increase the temperature never mind this is for exergetic okay uh, let's increase uh, the overall heat transfer coefficients up to uh, 600s or 400s it's enough for this let's hit stop let's see our results okay we can compare runs okay this is the old runs and and we have to um, total plant efficiency let's go here and check total plant efficiency there is some changes in total plant efficiency net power okay this is huge because we increased increased uh, increased uh, massively uh, the power from 200, 200 kilowatts up to 25 megawatts so there is a massive uh, power ratio of, as you can see here outlet compressor temperature massive and uh, um, let's go for uh, this total mass flow rate massive increasing fan power okay your results this is fan power okay anyway so you can go inside and check check your results from here so it's from 0.6 uh, kilogram per second up to 28 uh, kilogram per second total cycle mass flow rates and this is your solar field so our uh, thermal power is increased up to uh, Two exponential four kilowatts. And this is our uh, power mass flow rate equal condenser. Yes. So the outlet outlet temperature from the turbine unit is increased up to uh, 60 degrees Celsius. So therefore the air outlet would become at 50 um, degrees Celsius, and the total the total cooler area increased up to 70 meter. Uh, square meters and we have here a fan power is increased from 0.6 kilowatt up to uh, 200 kilowatts uh, and this is a lit air temperature if you increase the air temperature and so on uh, I would like to say we have um, a complete uh, 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 ideal cycle for uh, for uh, gas, gas turbine cycle based on CO2 carbon dioxide working uh, fluid and we have here uh, uh, concentrated solar tower uh, our target is to change this concentrated tower uh, the next target of course is to change concentrated solar tower and replace it by a parabolic trough collector and we can compare our results we can compare you can we can change um, uh, the mass flow rate through um, the mass flow rate type, I, I mean the working flow type, we can change it up to air or pentane or any working fluid, and we can compare our results and see what is our uh, the performance analysis. You can set here, set your time, simulation time up to zero, and let's go for changing uh, pressure ratio for performance. Suppose it's eight. and go here for uh, compressor outlet temperature after changing uh, the mass flow rates let it be okay as before compressor hit run pressure ratio yes it's increased temperature is increased so the performance of pressure ratio, ratio is to increase the efficiency of the cycle because it it uh, it will reduce the thermal load on uh, solar field. Uh, let's hit back again and decrease the perform the pressure ratio. I'm sorry, if I'm down to two, and we have to compare again. Yes, 140 degrees Celsius. So I expected that uh, the thermal, yes, the thermal load is from two exponential so four is increasing from. Uh, up to 
I'm sorry, 2.8 exponential for the thermal power uh, load on the thermal field uh, on the concentrated solar field. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to like and uh, share, uh, subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you.